If you can create an app that does makes people's life easy, then you can make a lot of money. But what I'm saying to you is right now, maybe there's no app on this phone right now for teleportation, but there will be one. Now maybe you'll be like, oh, you got the new iPhone 25? Because by the time it'll be the iPhone 20, okay? The new i20, you know what the new feature for the i20 is going to be? The new feature is, oh, I can be able to teleport myself. So I don't need a car anymore. All I got to do, but is that app going to be very expensive? Yeah. Yes. yes. It's a million thousand dollars. Okay. But the point is, is it going to eventually happen? No. Maybe not in your lifetime, maybe. but maybe not in your kid's lifetime, but it's coming. It's uh -huh. definitely coming down the road. So we die, our kids dying in teleport teleportation. Happens. They're going to be like, yo, remember when mom and your kids, your kids, kids, kids are going to be like, remember when mom and dad used to actually go to school and sit there in front of a chalkboard? I mean, that's so crazy. So Who they're going to make that? fun of us? Yeah. They have more technology? Yeah. They're like, look, oh, now we don't even have to do that. Better not. Look at the movie The better Matrix. Not. You saw the movie The Matrix? Yes. Oh, oh that, that. No, 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 no. Yeah, Now, that is crazy. But think about, when you I talk about, like what are those movies before. based on? It's called sci-fi, right? Yeah. Sci-fi. Yeah. Electricity. When you're talking about science, sci-fi, the idea is what? It's about people having these imaginations and being able to bring it together, right? Okay, now, can I start my car from my iPhone? Yes. Oh, okay, if I, now, if I can start my car from my phone, can I tell my car I'm in front of Ken's Excellence to come and meet me in the front? No. Why not? Possible. Possible. Is it po possible. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, but it needs a key inside. No, there's no key. This is the key. So you need someone to, like, press the you, lever. Don't need to Can my car park itself? Yeah. Yes. Really? Yeah. Yeah, there's cars that park itself. Can your dad car park itself? No. On the new BMW, new technology, I don't he could take his hands off the wheel. He just has to line up the car and say park, and the car parks itself. So now if the car can park itself. Cool. But it needs a camera on the ass. Yeah, but that's what I mean. <laughs> the, car, the, car, the car has the technology. Now who would have thought? Now think about it like this. You're going back to the 1920s. Now look, it's 1920. The ass. 1920, the first car comes out. 1920, first car. 80 years later, 80 just 80 years, not a million years, 80 years. 2000. 2000. In 2000, you've got cars that park themselves. No, that's 2012. No, that's before that. So think about it. Really? Only 80 years it took for them to develop the technology to have a car park itself. So now think about it. If it's 2000, by the year 2050, who knows what the technology is going to look like yet? Yeah. What if you lose your phone, you, you get another phone, you like, meet me outside, and the phone just walks itself to the outside. <laughs> <laughs> on, on, this, on this phone, listen, on this phone in my house, if, if for example, on this phone, if I, lo if I lose my keys, it has an application to let me look, it has a GPS to tell me where the keys are in the house, really? so I can find the keys, yeah. I lose so, my keys. Is it possible for, like, like maybe in the future? Like, um, if you lost your phone, Whoa. then, then, um, uh, then you use the subway <laughs> phone and tell, and tell the phone to meet you in the subway. You so, so you want this phone to just come alive and start walking around like Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I don't know, I don't know if the technology's gonna be that funky, but the point is, the fact that we can sit here right now and even have those ideas, like you having an idea that there's a potential for your phone to come and walk to you, where do you get that from? That's because the technology around you is so advanced that it does seem possible. Okay, so what you got to do is stay tuned because things are going to start changing. Stay tuned. Yeah. What about stay hover tuned. cars? Yeah, well, hover cars, why not? <laughs> Look, I told you the other time that we were in class, my friend now has a pad. You know how you have like my friend in his garage. He spent a lot of money for this. He put a pad. He's got a hybrid car. It, it, it goes on electricity. He drives his car onto the pad and his, and his car starts to charge. Wow. His car starts charging, so does his phone. <laughs> because the pad is plugged into the power system and it acts like a charger, you know what I'm trying to say? Now, in, uh, in, big, in Best Buy, they sell this thing, it's like a pad this big. So all you do is you come okay. home, you put your phone on the pad and it starts to charge the phone. Wow. They took that same technology and made a huge one for your garage so that now you can drive your hybrid car on there and also charge your car. So I just put electricity in the car, That's but with like metal on the rubber part? Well, all you gotta do is drive the car onto the pad, your phone starts charging, the car starts charging, you're good to go. Yeah. yeah then did he buy like 60 of them and like put No, it no, it's just one big one. It's like, you see how big this is? Imagine it's bigger for a whole garage. Wow. He just drives right on, as soon as he drives on, he turns the car off, all of a sudden the car starts to charge. How does he, yeah, make, how did he make it? I need to make it. They, the, the company made it. That makes hybrid cars. Honda makes it. Um, Honda makes it. Let's just make it. Let's just make it. Oh, let's just make it. Let's just.
Lexus, I don't know if Lexus has it. Uh, but if you have a hybrid car, any hybrid car will work with this. So yeah, I'm sure they do. Well, and one of the things about the hybrid car, rubber doesn't like electricity, and there's like no like metal on, on the bottom of the wheel. So how's that electric? The, 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 there's a battery in the car. The battery has a wireless adapter too. So what happens is once the battery it comes into contact with the pad, cool. it automatically starts to charge the car. What if it stops charging? Then it just stops. That's it. Not the question. Yeah. Um, what if he walks onto the pad and it shocks him? No, no, no. That's, that, no, no. The, the pair the pair's not going to cause any injury. But here's the bigger question. The bigger question is if he's on that pair. Like for example, what do they say? You should never do it with your cell phone. Keep it what next to your what? You Don't keep it next to your computer. You should keep it on a, in a what? Pocket. In a, in, not in a pocket. In a dry place. Not in a dry place. Listen, what do you carry your phone in? Pocket. Uh, oh. Fourth grade, give me some five. All right, so yeah, so there you go. So now, you keep your phone in the case. The reason they keep it phone in the case is they don't want you to have body-to-body -body contact. What does this phone give off? Um, w Wi-Fi? No. Information, radio, radio, radioactive. Radio 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 now, these radio waves, are they good for your body or bad? Bad. Very bad. What do they can cause? Surgery. No, uh, cancer. Yes, cancer. Cancer. As a matter of fact, I'm not even gonna lie to you. No, I put this I'm in my pocket, I guess, you know, that thingy. That one may not, what happens is they have actually a test to determine how much. This one has Wi-Fi. Yeah, so like that, I'll believe it or not, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna go on. These things that you have, they kill you over time. Because what happens is, for example, like if I had, I used to carry my phone right here in my pocket when I'm teaching in school, right? Yeah. And a friend of mine who used to do it for a couple of years, what happened yeah. was he had a pain in his chest. And he went to the doctor and what happened was he had developed cancer in his chest because he was keeping this phone on his chest all the time. Now you're like, is that possible? Yeah, it's possible. Um, there's been a lot of studies that have proven you should never keep this phone on your skin, body to body. You know how people have the wireless things, the Bluetooth? Not even a good idea because yeah. it's always attached to your what? The side of yeah. your what? Face. So you face. can develop what? Brain cancer tumors, face. cancers, uh, ear problems, and things like that. Because you remember, you're a oh, human body, what? so you're made out of what? Cells. Cells and starts with an F. Flesh, right? Huh. You're taking something that's 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 metal, steel, technology, and you're attaching it to something that's non non living to something that's living. So it's gonna have a bad reaction. Here we go. I'll come around. Like a rocket.